Whoa, come on, this way. Goodness. I had to run to keep up with Daniel and the dogs because the dogs were pulling him so fast. And a couple of times, I thought he was going to fall over. That's quite an exit. Yes, Ooh. yes. Now, I have him on the lead, which is about 15 feet out because he's the hardest to control. Right. Then I have, whoa, hold on. Then I have Sasha closer to me because she's usually the easiest. Whoa! I've seen a lot of very bad leash pulling in my time as a trainer, but this, this was off the charts. How many times then on an average week would you walk them? Maybe once on a Saturday, like when the family's home and I have the extra help. Mm -hmm. There's times I'll do it late at night when everyone's in bed. Okay. And if I can get one out the back and the other one doesn't know what's going on, then I'll shoot, you know, like digweed a lot of times. I'll take him down around the block because he tends to be the one that dashes out the door. Yeah. So I yeah. try to get him out. You know? If Diggs gets out when he mad dashes out, yeah. there's no catch in him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> back inside, Victoria wants to find out how the dogs are affecting the rest of the family. Now it's time to sit down with Daniel and Randy to spell out the dangers and deliver some surprising news. Before I start working with dogs, they always have to have a full veterinary checkup. And unfortunately, what we found is that digweed is heartworm positive. Heartworm is an extremely dangerous disease. And left unchecked, it will kill a dog. The fact that digweed has heartworms scares me. It's also disappointing, you know, having had him on prevention. Fortunately, digweed's Heartworm is actually a mild case, which means he still can't have strenuous exercise, but we can do a little bit of training with him in the home. Okay. Good. Victoria now, wants to take the training outdoors. The most important thing is that I want you to be able to walk your dogs, okay? Now, we're not doing any walking with digweed because of the heartworm positive. All right. He needs to be kept quiet. What I witnessed on that dog walk was nothing short of insanity. I have, whoa, hold on. Then I have Sasha closer to me because she's usually the easiest. I want to give you a special harness. This is a harness where the dog is led by its center of gravity, which is the chest. Each time the dog pulls, the dog's body gets pulled round. With Sasha harnessed, they are ready to walk. When she walks well, I praise her. Pulls, I stop. Good girl. Good girl. See how she backed up? Yep. Thank you. Now we go to where you want to go. If she pulls me again, I stop. Sasha's a smart dog because she learned really quickly. If I stopped, she had to back up. And only then did I walk ahead again. OK, I want you to take over this leash. OK. I want you now to really watch her and to give her encouragement. Yeah. And she's doing well. Good girl, Sasha. There you go, good. That's it, okay, so good, good girl. girl and you carry good girl. on. But Sasha's not quite ready to relinquish control. You did exactly the right thing then. When she starts jumping up at you, you stop and you become completely boring. Come on. Nope. And okay. that's what she likes to do is take control, remember? Yeah, yeah, you bet. She's taking control right now. Come on. But Daniel holds firm. After a while, Daniel got used to the training. Come on. Good. And Sasha was walking next to him. It's the first time he's walked her since she was a puppy where he hasn't been dragged down the street. She's already not pulling me as bad. Yeah. The leash training I did with Victoria went exceptionally well. Now I have hope that I can take Sasha out into the public. Now it's time for Digweed to learn some restraint. So I want to show you just a simple weight command. OK. This is going to be for you, Digweed. Learning to inhibit behavior is especially important in Digweed's case because for the next month, as soon as he starts the heartwork treatment, any kind of exertion could potentially be extremely dangerous for him. Wait. Good boy. What I'm doing is I'm putting my hand down, but I'm not staring him full in the face. Yeah. I'm just saying, wait. Okay. If he stays in one place, he's going to get rewarded for it. Wait. Open the door a little bit. Close the door. Good boy. Wait. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm faster than you, buddy. Wait. It really didn't take me long to have the door wide open for Digweed not to run out. 
It was pretty impressive how quickly this dog learned. Very good, very good. Now Daniel takes over. So I'd like you to do this now. Yeah. All right, I'm going to give you a few treats. All right. Done. Wait. If you, if you feel he's too close to the yeah. door, you can back. back him away. Back. And when you'd back, just walk into him. OK. Back. Good. See, so he has to move his body. Love okay. it. OK. Wait. Wait. Good boy. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Even though Daniel hasn't set boundaries for his dogs, when he does communicate with them, they listen to him. With okay. Digweed listening to Daniel, Victoria wants Randy to try. But to make things harder, she will act as a guest at the door. I was starting to get nervous because I don't know that, that I would get the same response. <laughs> Wait. 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 OK, he moved, so I go out again. Back, back. Wait. Wait. Good pup. See? Good job. You did it perfectly. It absolutely worked. It was great. I think you just need a bit more confidence. I do. I'm so scared to open that door. Your challenge is to teach Sasha this as well. And you do it one dog at a time. You begin to fade out the food. So they're now responding without the food. Then you put them together. When the family is working with each dog individually, they have to start to fade out the treats. Because if you put both dogs together and still use treats, Sasha gets very, very protective. She guards her resources and she will attack Digweed. So when I come back, you can have both dogs sitting here and waiting. Both the dogs waiting. It's going to be a big challenge, but I'm up for it. All right, come on, guys. Despite Digweed's health problems, Daniel decides to take both dogs out for a walk. I'm really confused here. What is Digweed doing going out for a walk? I thought he should be on his heartworm treatment by now. Come on, Digs. So far, the dogs are calm. Sasha, hey. But Daniel is Sit. the one getting irate. Sit. 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 What are you doing? Hey. Sit. 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 I don't know what Daniel's thinking. Sit. He's being very rough with Sasha. And walking digweed with a heartworm condition is very, very risky. One thing Daniel has remembered back, is back. to teach Sasha back, the weight command back. at the door. Sasha, back. Back. Wait. 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 Now he and Randy are working to get both dogs Wait. waiting together. Good girl. But yet again, Daniel ignores Victoria's advice. I started incorporating treats into the training when they wouldn't listen to me, or I wouldn't get any response out of them. And I found that the food motivation never failed. And very quickly, Sasha's competitive nature starts to come out. Back. Back. <laughs> Sasha! Daniel, you shouldn't be treating when you're working with both dogs. I'm not at all surprised Sasha started to fight. Enough! Enough! This is too much. Someone is going to get hurt. I'm on my way back. Victoria Stilwell is returning to the Miola Altman family to set a few things straight. All right, you guys, back. Back, wait, wait. I hope they don't fight. Wait. Hello. Hey. Hi. Wait. Go in. Good boy, digger dudes. OK. Here, that was really impressive, but why are you using food? Oh, OK, well, yeah, I, I normally don't use food. I just did that as a special but reward. But I saw you thing. using food before. And, and, and that caused fights. This was a special occasion. I actually gave him special treats designated specifically for this moment. No, no, so. but I, no, 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 no. Don't come yeah. with excuses. What I said to you was, I want you to train the dogs one by one. Which I did. And I want you to phase food out with each one of them. So now they're not responding to anything with food. Yeah. They're responding to your weight. When they're doing that, then you put them together, but do not use food okay. because that'll cause a fight. Yeah, I misunderstood that. Having put so much into training these dogs, it kind of shocked me at first with 
you know, the whole way she responded to me giving my dogs treats. This is another thing. When are you going to start the heartworm treatment? Because dickweed shouldn't really be out walking. Well, uh, I'm about a month away from getting that done. I was surprised when I learned that dickweed isn't going to get the heartworm treatment probably for a month or two. That's Daniel's decision. But when he starts that, no exercise right. at all. Okay. Since Victoria's been here, it's so much more peaceful, and it's just a lot happier. Wait. Good boy, Diggs. The walking's going really good. I'm able to get them out a couple times a day. They both seem to be acting a lot more calm in the house, which makes everything a lot more peaceful. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.